All right, here with reaction, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee is with us. Governor, great to have you. <laughs> Governor, workers are building electric buses so people can get where they need to go. <laughs> as, as, as the name suggests, community banks, they are for communities. <laughs> the passage of time is about time passing, and we're all passing through time through the passage of time. <laughs> now, if it, it happened once or twice, I might be able to comprehend it, but it seems to happen every time she opens her mouth. And, and why does every American kind of feel like they're being lectured as a kindergartner uh, by the vice president if she's not giggling uncontrollably? I think she knows more about passing a kidney stone than passing a <laughs> time. I've never seen anybody who is unable to put a sentence together. And the sad thing is, our taxes are paying a speechwriter to write that stuff for her. That's what <laughs> makes it sad. Wow. I mean, it is amazing. Tudor Dixon also with us, former uh, Michigan uh, gubernatorial candidate. Tudor, what's your take? I think it, it, it's sad. I agree that our, we have our taxpayers that are, are paying for these speeches to be written and to be given. But I want you to know that I've seen her lately out in the media, as you were talking about, her latest interviews have been softballs for her to be out there and look vice presidential. And they've been talking about abortion. It's their favorite subject. She did really well on it. She came out. She sounded empathetic. She sounded like she understood the woman's plight. She even said something that was key. And, and Governor Huckabee will know that this is key. She said, even if you are concerned about your faith, don't worry. You can still say the government should not be involved in this decision. She's giving women who want permission to walk away from that part of their faith and say, I question. can say this is okay. They're could, giving, she's giving them permission. Because you're both pro-life. We saw the vote in Ohio. And uh, I will tell you that if you look at Doug Mastriano and, and Tudor, even your race, I would argue that people that have very restrictive views on abortion... Um, unlike, say, uh, uh, Mississippi as 15 weeks, that seems to be, that was the Dobbs decision, um, that any, anything less than that, uh, the fear among many, many conservatives is this will chase away many suburban voters. Do you agree with that, Mike Huckabee? I do not. I think the problem is Republicans have done a very pitiful job of explaining that the difference is we want to protect life. Democrats want to take it right up to the point of birth. They want to butcher a fully developed child. We've got to take it to the Democrats. Quit playing defense. Let's be clear about what we stand for. And it is that every human life has worth, value, and there's no such thing as an expendable or disposable human being. Tudor, last word. Their message is very strong on this. They've won over women. We saw it. We just saw it in Ohio. We have to start fighting on the cultural side of it, and we have to fight on the issues that matter to people politically on the political side in a different way. I think the American people, and I'm, I consider myself pro-life, I believe in the sanctity of life, but I think politically that there is, Republicans have got to say, as Bill Clinton once said, I never thought I'd quote him, uh, <laughs> rare legal and i'd add the word very early in a pregnancy uh that seems to be politically where the country is maybe i'm wrong uh but we'll see that that vote in ohio was pretty pretty sobering all right straight ahead thank you both biden hey sean hannity here hey click here to subscribe to fox news youtube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis you will not get it anywhere else